Hey, welcome back. Thanks for joining. Today is the first part in a three-part series on a 12,000-mile maintenance project for a water-cooled R1200 GS. These videos are sponsored by the online part store at Pacmoto Tours and Rentals. So come check us out at pacmototours.com slash store. Here you'll find maintenance kits, six and 12,000 mile maintenance kits for various BMW motorcycles. If you learned something from these videos, would love it if you'd subscribe right down here, give us a thumbs up, drop us a comment, would love to hear from you. Okay, as I said, today's project is the first part in a three-part series on a 12,000 mile maintenance project for this 2014 water-cooled R1200 GS. Part one will be an oil change and final drive fluid change. Part two will be spark plugs and a valve clearance check. Part three will be replacing the air filter and wrapping up the project. If you order a maintenance kit from the online part store at Pacmoto Tours and Rentals, you'll get a box like this. This box right here is a 12,000 mile maintenance kit for a water-cooled 1200. So in this box, let me show you what you get. Of course, four quarts of casserole, 5W40, Motor oil meets all of the BMW specs. Uh, one quart of 75W90 gear oil meets all of the BMW specifications. A high flow filtro 7915 air filter, again, meets all of the specifications. A high flow filtro HF160 oil filter, of course, meets all of the BMW specifications. Uh, two LMAR8DJ. Uh, NGK spark plugs, and of course, uh, crush ring to do the oil filter, and uh, five sets of crush rings and O-rings for five final drive changes uh, with this uh, one quart of 75W40, 75W90 uh, gear oil. So, so this is the kit that you'll get from the online park store at Pacmoto Tours and Rentals. By buying these kits from us, you help support this YouTube channel. So before I start this project, I wanted to point out that I've already removed the lower crash bar, I removed the skid plate, and I removed the rear fender. It will just make this project easier as we get started. You can see here the rear fender, the crash bars, and the skid plate. So. Now it's time for us to get started on the oil change. We've got the drain plug right here. It takes a 10 millimeter hex. All right, I've moved the camera so that you can now see the oil filter. So using my tool, Take the oil filter out. Okay, I have a new high flow filtro HF160 filter. So a little bit of oil around the, the gasket and we'll thread this back on the bike. We will torque this to eight Newton meters, which is not much more than hand tight. There we go. I have cleaned off the drain plug, put on a new crush ring, and now we'll just screw it back into place. Cleaned up my area here. Let's torque in the drain plug. We just finished 
draining the engine oil. We replaced the oil filter. We put the drain plug back in, torqued everything down. You'll notice that I did not replace the engine oil yet. That's because in the next episode, I'm going to remove the valve covers, uh, the spark plugs and the valve cover so that we can do a valve clearance check. I'll put the oil in after we're all done with that project. So for the final drive, the drain plug is right down here. The filler is right up here. The drain plug is a T45 Torx. The filler is a six millimeter hex. Don't mix them up or you might strip your bolts. Uh, I'm going to use this Maxima 75W90 GL5 final drive oil that meets all of the BMW specifications. I've already poured it into a small bottle with a measured line here at 180 milliliters. You can get these little bottles at uh, a drugstore or at a beauty salon. They use these for coloring ladies' hair. Uh, I also, if you buy this kit from, from us, you'll get five O-rings and five crush rings for the final drive. You have enough uh, oil for five of these. That's why I include five in the kit. A little bit more of a close-up here. Again, drain plugs down here. T45 Torx on the drain. Six millimeter hex on the filler. You see I've put this little aluminum foil dam here to keep any final drive oil from reaching the rear tire, which can happen. Simple little piece of tin foil solves that problem. Okay, I'm going to remove the filler plug first. Okay. When I pulled out the, this is the filler plug, you may be able to see that the, there's no crush ring. So I was wondering where did the crush ring grow? Well, it's still there. So let's make sure we get this crush ring out because we don't want to have two crush rings in here. So there it is right there. We will put in a new one on this drain plug. Make sure you clean out all the gunk that gets stuck down in there. There's a little magnetic piece in here that attracts any of the metal shavings. And we're also going to replace this, this O-ring right here as well. So I took the O-ring off. You can see here I have another one. I'm going to slide it on from the top. Fits right down in that little spot there, that groove. And then we will replace this drain plug. Remove our dam and our drain pan, the old crush rings and O-ring. Let's torque this to 20 Newton meters. There we go. Now let's squirt in 180 milliliters of our 75W90 GL5 final drive oil. So I'm just going to just sit here and nurse it in. All right. 180 millimeter, milliliters of final drive oil. I've put on a new crush ring. Remember this is six millimeters. Six millimeter hex. Torque to 20 newton meters. Okay, there we go. We have completed part one of our three part 12,000 mile maintenance on this water cooled R1200 GS. Part one was the oil change and final drive oil change. Part two will be a valve clearance check and spark plugs. Part three, replacing the air filter and wrapping up this project. All right, if you learned something, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, give us a thumbs up, drop us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. These videos are sponsored by the online part store at Packmoto Tours and Rentals. 
So come check us out at packmototours.com/store. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.